Hello, my awesome students. Now let's proceed on lesson seven. The echinoderms are the tiny misfits. And the echinoderms that we are about to discuss were the following: sea star, sea urchin, and sea cucumber. Sea star. These are star-shaped echinoderms belonging to the class Asteroidea. Common usage frequently finds these names being also applied to ophiroids, which are correctly referred to as the brittle stars or the basket stars. Then, there are about 1,500 species of starfish who occur in the seabed in all the world's oceans, from the tropics to the frigate polar waters. Got it, students? Starfish are marine invertebrates. They typically have central disc and five arms. Though some species have larger number of arms, the aboral or the upper surface may be smooth, granular, or spiny, and is covered with overlapping plates. Habitat The sea stars are found from the intertidal zone down to the abyssal depths, 6,000 meters below the surface. Echinoderms, including starfish, maintain a delicate internal electrolyte balance that is in equilibrium with the sea water. This means that it's only possible for them to live in marine environments and that they are not found in any freshwater habitat. Starfish species inhabit all the world's oceans. Habitats range from the tropical coral reefs, rocky shores, tidal pools, mud and sand, to keep forest seagrass meadows and the deep sea floor down to the least 6,000 meters. Since we already know about the sea star, now let's proceed on the sea urchin. Archaically called the sea hedgehogs, small, spiny, globular animals that, with their close skin such as sand dollars, the shell or test of the sea urchins is round and spiny, typically from 3 to 10 cm across. Sea urchins move slowly, feeding primarily on algae. Sea urchin habitat Sea urchins have conquered most sea habitats on an extremely wide range of depths. The shingle urchin or the Colobos centrotus atratus, which lives on exposed shorelines, is particularly resistant to wave action. It is one of the few sea urchins that can survive many hours out of water. The reproduction of the sea urchin. In most cases, the female's eggs float freely in the sea, but some species hold onto them with their spines affording them a greater degree of protection. Now, let's proceed to the sea cucumber, echinoderms from the class Holothoroidea. They are marine animals with a leathery skin and an elongated body containing a single branch gonad. Where does sea cucumbers can be found? So, sea cucumbers can be found in great numbers on the deep sea floor, where they often make up with the majority of the animal biomass. Reproduction of the sea cucumber Most sea cucumbers reproduce by releasing sperm and ova into the ocean water. And that ends our lesson 7, the echinoderms. Bye guys! Thanks for watching! Created using Powtoon.